Welcome back to Tony Games. Time for Around Every Corner, Episode 4. Instant darkness and nothingness. Previously on the Walking Oh, here we go. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Oh, gosh. It was so sudden. Oh, she's gonna make it. Give me a coach. I'll do it. I will kill Duck. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. Yeah, why not? I hope they're okay. If they're not, what happened to them? Yeah, I, I know that I wanted to know real bad. Surprise. What? It's all my fault. Darn you, Ben. We gotta jump. What? No way. Had you jumped when I told you to, you probably would have been fine. Yeah. Yeah. That does that sounds real sketchy. That doesn't sound legit at all. Oh uh, yeah, I know. What what I do it depends on the game and people die and I get to decide who dies. Everyone I've saved so far is dead. I saved Duck, he died. I saved Carly, she died. And now I've saved what? What's her name? Christine? I don't remember her name. I saved her. She'll probably die too. Do decisions I make even matter then? If the people die anyway, they stick around for a little bit longer, but ultimately they still die. <sighs> like I said in the last episode, I, I mean, this is a good game, but it's certainly not fun. It's, a, it's an interesting experience. I recommend playing it. I recommend checking it out, but it's not, it's not a good time. Like, like watching a horror movie isn't, or playing a horror game isn't a good time, but it's an experience. Can't I just hold it? Let me take the batteries out and you can hold it. Not now, uh, for a little while. no. Maybe real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I could. I already told you no. Ask me again, okay? What's the harm in letting her have it? It doesn't even work. It does you work. Take care of yours. Let me take care of mine. Sorry, I spoke. Yeah, you should be. Mind your own business. Oh, His legs pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You're limping you pretty hard. Rest. He needs to rest. Ah. Uh, how much further? Finney, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? Sure as Hopefully. Hell, there'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. That's Finney just... Be okay. That's hope. Finney knows what he's doing. Mmm. What the hell? Is, Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Is, Keep moving. Is no someone, one's ringing that bell. Is someone actually ringing it? On a timer. All right. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? <laughs> I, I, just, up there. I just saw a person. You sure? I don't see anything. Yeah, Robin Hood was running around. I saw him. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. <laughs> Uh-oh. I thought you said that Finny didn't work. Well, I lied. Who the hell is this? Yeah. Hello. Hello. I said answer me. Well, we need to get out of the street, apparently. Is this noise? This is a lot of noise that can be attracting them, that? isn't it? Is someone trying to fuck with us? It sounded more like a warning. It, it did. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? 
Uh, there's a lot of badness back there. And we need to go. We need to get out of here. Now. Wait. Did he use the bell to... Did he use the bell to get them to come and attack us? Is that what just happened? Did he just try and kill us? With the walkers? Stay, stay. Nice one, Chuck. Ben! Oh, that's Kenny. Kenny! Kenny! I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Pa! You were gonna let me die, so... Ben, you coward! Ben, ben, you coward! Pop, and goes, and the weasel, and boom, and jams, and who, the what, oh gosh, oh geez, and boom. How many bullets do I have? I assume that, okay. I was gonna say, I'll assume that I'm gonna die, not her. That, like, I leap in the way and I get killed. Uh, I mean, then again, I did kill Duck. So, clearly, kids are allowed to die in this. <gasps> Is Chuck gonna die because of me? Uh. Uh. I, I can't. No, we gotta help him. We're just gonna leave him? We just left Chuck. We just left Chuck to die. Wow. Oh, my leg again. That's totally fine, but I, apparently it, it's hurting now. Okay. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Yeah, open the door. Long before those things outside figure out where we went. I'll find a way in. Smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Talk to Ben later. Damn. Can I use whatever this is? Through that. Okay. Uh. Has no anybody. Way gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. Can a Clementine fit through the little doggy door? What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. The pet door's Never locked? I've never heard of a locked doggy door. I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Bullshit. <laughs> okay, it's a school day. All right, so where's the dog? Zombie dog? Are we gonna have to deal with a zombie dog? Thirsty enough to drink that yet? Yeah, gross. Um, I I've only seen. It looks like the oh, the dog's dead. I'm gonna guess the dog is dead. Empty. Ben isn't in too easy. That's true. It's probably right here. Looks like something was buried here. Well, I gotta dig up the dog, really. I need a shovel. I hear grossness out there. Clementine, are you okay? Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Uh, try not to worry about it. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? They're not smart they enough. Oh, well, there you go. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. We used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door. <laughs> and when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. <laughs> I don't think this is quite the same. Oh, I saw a shovel. Oh, gosh. Stay away from the gate. 
I'm gonna see about getting us inside the house. I don't want to be a cookie. <laughs> I, I don't like the idea of being a cookie. I think I saw a shovel over here when I was talking to Clem. No? Aha! There it is. A shovel is never that useful. Yeah, uh, Chuck was just using a shovel. Hopefully he's still alive. We just left him to die, basically. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. Gross. I didn't think about that. So what's buried down there? A dog, most likely. Hopefully. The dog with the chip. Stay away. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Ovi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? Ooh, why am I getting all attitude? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, Clementine. I just wanted you to stay away just in case it was, like, gonna come to life or something. We've been around dead people all day, man. All right, well, we're going to play with the dead puppy next time. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.